All right, how about helping people change their lives, transform their lives, and you're a part of the process. Tana Gertz, you may know her from The Apprentice or Fear Factor. She's here, she's on a mission, turning pain into purpose. So what do you think it takes to be on a reality show? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about applying to these cutthroat situations where you're being watched every <laughs> single day and judged for everything that's going on? All right. Don't mess with the mom from Iowa. She will take you down. <laughs> Friendly sounding, right? <laughs> okay. I saw that on your apprentice oh, no. compilation uh, and I was like, dang, I'm yeah. not gonna mess with you. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You have such a fascinating life's journey. Oh. And I really enjoyed just getting to talk to you briefly. Your new book, From the Basement to the White House. Yes. Uh, quite a journey. I mean, that's life though, right? Yes. It's full of plot twists. And yes. Seize the opportunity when you're there, even though it may be a very difficult journey in that opportunity. Um, some things that you unpack in your memoir, you talk about divorce, navigating yes. divorce. Tell me about that. I mean, there's so many people, that's such a hard process for anybody going through it. It is. Being a single parent, going through divorce, especially if you have children, it's, it's very difficult. It's yeah. challenging. And being a life coach, I get to to help people navigate this because I've navigated it already. And the number one thing that I want people to realize is co-parenting uh, doesn't have to be difficult. And a lot of people choose to become bitter hmm. and I chose to become better. So I teach people that it's really hurtful when you bash your ex, even though you're not happy with him or her right. um, because you're divorced, but your children are 50% of that person hmm. that you're bashing. Yeah. And when I mention that people go, gosh, I've never thought of that. Right. You have to think of these little lives that these are little affected. lives and so trying to stay positive trying to co-parent the best that you can is really the best thing the best gift that you can give your children one of your favorite things to do right now is life coaching for the reason of just seeing people come into their own maybe get their blind spots out of the way yes. right what gets you up every day you're doing a lot of different things but what's the spark in your step right now well, I just love being able to be the catalyst to having people's lives change for the better. Yeah. Um, taking a client who's struggling with alcoholism and be helping them become sober and then seeing all the blessings that, that come from being a, living a sober life is so rewarding and just to be a, a part of that. So my purpose is to help people yeah. be happier, healthier, the most successful that they can be. And when you change a person, you change the whole entire family yes. and or community. So it's really Really, it fuels me to get up and just know that I've got God's blessings uh, uh, poured into me so that I can be a vessel and speak the good word to these people and, and they trust me with their lives. Yes. Well, and you've seen life through its many different seasons. Yes. So did you have an aha moment? I mean, being in the White House, a different experience than you could have ever prepared for, right? Yes. Did you have a moment that you felt more yourself, more empowered to nav pivot from politics to business and life coaching? I really had my aha moment after after The Apprentice um, and, and Fear Factor, but mostly The Apprentice, when I came home and I realized there has to be a reason why I was one out of 1,800,000 people. There has to be a reason. And so I sat with God and just said, what, what, what do you want me to do with yeah. this platform? And he said, I want you to love, nurture, and help people find their purpose in life. Uh, so that was my purpose, was to love people, uh, regardless of if I knew them or not. I love a stranger and, uh, and I just have always had that genuine desire to motivate, inspire, and love people um, regardless of judgment, regardless sure. of where they're at in their life. So my purpose was just um, defined right after The Apprentice and I just, politics was just something I fell into. Huh. Um, and, and did that job well, but I was just so thrilled to get back yeah. up on stages and in people's living rooms, just helping them um, find that grit and yeah. that, that desire to just keep going. Keep going. Where do people find you? Uh, I'm on every social media platform as Hey Tana, H-E-Y-T-A-N-A, -A, uh, or my website, HeyTana.com.